Logan Kane here, and this is episode 8 of Zulima. We just took out... What was this guy? A leprechaun or... He wasn't a leprechaun. He was a nymph. I don't remember what he was. But he was guarding that chest, and we got nothing all that cool from it. So, we're going back down to finish off that quest that we had going, though, before. You know, collect the spores. We only have... 16. And I want... 20. So I can finish this damn mission. And here we are with this guy. I, I don't even really know what to do with him. I'll just go ahead and start stabbing him. Not like she can do anything else. Yep, put everybody to sleep. Ooh, Casquala. What do we have you do? We could have you Icy Touch. I think Icy Touch is a good idea, because it'll slow... Well, he'll have to do the damage. And if I slow him down with this, that allows her to get another shot off. Can I just keep doing that? I doubt it. Let's go ahead and shoot a stone arrow at him. So what are you going to do, mushroom? You going to wake my guys up? Yes, you are. Which means I get to have moves. Yay! All right, what do we do? We have powerful strike. Of course we're going to use powerful strike. Only 18 damage. That guy's got a lot of health. These are really tough fights, really. I'm not completely convinced I'm going to make it through the fight. He just puts me to sleep for some reason, and then follows it with a poison. Could just as easily not put me to sleep in the first place. Get a little bit more heals, and I want to say fire would do more damage to him. Eh, it probably does if, if I had more than level 1 in that. So we're going to go ahead and heal Ding on, so hopefully my nymph chick will get a chance to heal... Gusquala. But from the looks of it, he's going to put me to sleep for unbeknownst reasons, and then poison me immediately after. Let's find out. Oh, a bunch of people resisted, though. That is fantastic. So we're going to go ahead and summon the Raznet. Well, the Herald of the Raznet. I'm just going to call it Raznet, probably. I've been doing that for a while. What are you doing, Mushroom? Come on. Ooh. Somebody blocked. That's actually really, really good. Do I heal somebody? Do I heal the healer? No. I'd rather just resummon her. I'm going to go ahead and heal Magal, though. So hopefully nothing too crazy happens. 90% chance. I'm surprised he's not blocking it, knowing this game. Yay, more sleeping. A little bit of healing, an attack, and then my nymph chick is going to die. Or she'll block. Pretty cool. I'm getting some good damage off on him. I don't remember the last time Gallen attacked. Probably blocked, though. With his 85% chance, blocks anyway. Are you going to put me to sleep? Yep. My nymph was resisting. You'll attack, and then this time the nymph will die, right? No, blocked again. Good blocks on the healer. But the healer's probably going to die soon anyway. Oh, I really should reroll. I thought I was going to be gaining characters and stuff. I guess I still might. Only two spores. Man, was that even worth it? Well, all we need now is a couple more spores. I think we can get away with a short rest. What is this? Oh, overweight. Got it. Let's just do a short rest. Let's get all our health back. It's going to turn nighttime. We need one more set of spores. Well, I say one more set. I just need a couple more. I need two more. Let's go ahead and save. That was actually a really tough fight. What is this? Sporia Meadow, dangerous area, walk slowly because that guy will destroy me. And he has a really wide range. Wow, look at that. He goes almost all the way out to the damn sign that's warning about it. Whatever. I'm sure if I level up, I'll be able to take care of them pretty well. Levels seem to matter in this game. A lot. Oh, I don't know if I can... Yeah, I should be able to take that. Let's go ahead. Why not? What's the worst that could happen? I guess I could die. We're going to go ahead and hit these guys, because these guys will stun the crap out of me, which is a very effective tactic. Well, I'm trying to get this other computer up and running so I can compile easier and take better videos. I did a few test runs, and I made an all-club style, all an entire party based purely on stuns. And, wow. It just stops everybody. I was able to take out guards at level 1. I don't think I won the fight, but I took out a, one or two of them. Just because of the stuns. It's great. 
Oh, why'd I attack that one? Everybody should be attacking this guy. Except for her. She can't. We'll go ahead and pull in a Raznit. I need to get damage. I think damage is more important right now. Got a little bit of a stun. That's good. 9 to 11 damage? Eh. Does this guarantee the kill? Yes, it does. Gone. Alright, I don't have to worry about continual stuns. I have to worry about poison. Poison's a problem. It's not as big as a problem as those temp stuns. Ugh, poison. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. But I don't like this stunning crap even more. That was a lot of damage. I am so thrilled that, that happened. I'm going to focus down the guy on the left. That's where my cleric is. My cleric's probably going to have to heal. Gall in there, specifically. We'll take a powerful strike to get that damage in there. Good, good. Summon our healer. And it should be Nanathos' turn soon. Maybe not. Maybe he's over-encumbered. Maybe I need to fix that. Okay, good. He goes again before Gollin does, so it should stay alive. Should stay alive. Do I want to use a stone arrow on somebody who only has three health left? No, I don't. That's like 16 damage. That'd be a waste. Oh, I wish I could attack. But I'm not... I can't. Can I? I think I can. You know what? I'm going to do it. What's the percentage? Yeah, I'm doing it. So that guy dies, and I get healed by her. And this guy, you need to defend or something. Damn, 10 damage from the poison. That is really not good. I need to try and kill this guy before it's... I think I got it. All right, good. So if I didn't do... Ooh, I got the spores. I'm going to go back to town. All right, I'm going to go ahead and rest up. Rest until healed. We don't need any more than that. Let's just head on back to town, because this place is crazy. What is that? I really should try and figure out what these things are that I can harvest. It'd probably help. Well, you know, let's just take a look right now. See what happens. What do I got? Not shuriken, not travel crystals. Increase maximum hit points by one. How do I use this? Can I use it on... Who needs more hit... He needs more hit points. So I can't use this yet, I guess. I really don't know what's going on. Okay, so I have to select an herbal recipe. And it shows all the herb herbs I have, so... I guess I don't really have to worry about it. I think there's a buzz to my voice today. That's not good. I can feel it in my throat. Just buzzing. With every word. That's gotta be awful. I hope not. Hopefully it's nice. Pleasant. Even. I can hope. Well, anyway. We need to get... I'm going to kill this thing when I come back. At least I'm going to try. But for now, I'm going to go back to town. What are we going to do in town? I'm going to turn in that damn mission. And then we're probably going to cut the part where I harvest everything. Or maybe I should cut right now, because everything's being excruciatingly laggy. Okay. So, it's time to harvest again, so I'm just going to cut right now. And we're back. Time to give this guy all the bundles of grain. I feel like I'm playing Monster Hunter. Third gen, specifically. Where I have to go do the monotonous farming every day. So where's our guy? Where's our guy that... Yeah, this guy. Our quest guy, that's it. What do you have to say? You have to say everything's lagging to hell. Uh, where is your job postings? I completed this. All right. So I got some money, 721. That's a, enough gold to get a full thing of food. Which I'm probably not going to buy any of right now. An ogre has made camp on the road which links Velgron with that place. The people of Velgron want him gone. What about the people of Sorrentia? Do they not matter? Liberate the road. Okay, I can... I can do that. But before that, I'm going to do other things. For example, can I help you? Oh, that guy has a weird voice. The worst of mine. What do we have? What do we have? What do we have? Nothing really. Nothing really looks all that interesting. I don't want. I just want a little bit of defense. I don't want specialty stuff. So she's gonna stay in, in that kind of equip equipment. 
That weight penalty is 15. This weight penalty is 4. It's cloth, though. I don't know if I want cloth. Although I do know that I shouldn't be wearing that brass scale armor, because, geez. The copper stuff seems lighter. Got a weight penalty of 4, 9. I don't know. What is important, though, is this weight thing. That needs to be not on my healer. It also needs to be not on my strongest dealing ca my strongest damaging character. Why does she have a weight penalty? I've buffed her stuff. Did he take her armor? If so, she needs to take it back, so she's not... She's my strongest character! I don't want her... What is this? Why is everybody... Why did everybody get this? Overloaded. We're all overloaded now. Because I unequipped day, armor. Sir. Okay. That See makes sense. Go. But I also equipped this other armor. Weight penalty 15. Weight penalty 30. Holy crap. I think we're going to go ahead and sell this. Although it is 25 defense. Consider comparatively. Eh, we'll keep it. But what we will do is sell all this crap Freebies. that we can't use. Where, how do I sell? I guess I'd sell over here. No, that's how I sell. Just click it. Excellent. That should help out a little bit. And then these just, eh, they're crap. I don't know about certain things like the rat tails. I'll hold on to them for now. Because, why not? What are these? They're cursed? I need to fix that. Greetings. I apologize, this is taking way too long, but it's kind of important, because my characters keep dying. Goodbye. Actually, screw it. I'm not, not wasting everybody's time anymore doing this. Maybe I'll talk to this character. Hello. I really wish when I click on him, or click on her, 415 gold just for one extra day. Screw it, let's just finish off what I have. See you soon. That's it. Oh, I need to get back into the fight. Wooly the innkeeper. That's not who I want to talk to. I think from now on I'm going to start skipping my town visits. Because what's the point, really? I just get a little bit of gold. If there's something interesting happening for a quest, I'll, I'll bring it in. From now on, I think I'm just going to skip. So, I'm going to start right now. I'm going to skip the rest of this and we're going to go meet up at the Ravens. See you there. And here we're back. We're going to go ahead and fight this guy. These ravens. These troublesome ravens. I've leveled up quite a bit since the last... I think I fought him once and just got slaughtered, but... I should be able to beat him now. I don't know why not. Although they do get first attack, which sucks. They have strong attacks, too. They got that bleed and a huge hit. But we're going to start with the one on the left. What is that? It looked like she had a bloody eye for a moment. What is a powerful... 56% chance. Okay. Maybe I won't win this. This may be just a waste of time. Although we're still going to try. Stone arrow. Let's take... Let's try... The magic seems to hit. All the time. And it doesn't have a lot of health. So, so long as I can get a couple of hits off and a little bit of magic, it'll be alright. I'm going to pull in my healer, though, because... Wow. The damage. Wow. Ooh, that hurts. So, Nanathros, what's your chance to hit? F your 50% chance to do a little bit of damage. Yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take that. Didn't expect to hit, but I had to take it. Oh, that hurts. She needs healing. What is your chance to hit? 58%. These guys are super dodgy. And considering I have terrible luck at hitting the 75% chances, I'm gonna lose this fight, aren't I? All right, Naroma, you're going to have to help out there. Drop a stone arrow. Will that take him out? Awesome. I really need to bump her speed up. Finally, a hit. I, mean, I don't expect much, but... Let's bring the Razzin attack. Why? Because why not? I'm seriously thinking I probably would have been better with another soldier. I kind of want to redo this with an all-soldier run. I think that'd be cool. And be like I'm a I'm a party from the kingdom and I'm going down to solve the I don't know. I guess there's already a story, I don't need to make one up. Awesome, my powerful hit actually hit. That's that's fantastic. 
And a stone arrow might be able to finish it off. It is! Awesome. What is this? Crap to sell for 90 gold. Awesome. Alright, well, let's see what's over here. Clearly, there's a Tower of Melancholy. Mel Melancholy? Oh, I'm just not even going to try anymore. Oh, so this is more like a moat. I see. There's a little pathway here. I'm going to go in here, and I'm probably going to die. The door to the tower is firmly closed and looks strong and impenetrable. The entryway is littered with smiling skulls. You see a small hole in the middle of the door, indicating that you will need a special key to enter. Alright, well, it's about time to end this video. And as I like to do when I'm about to end a video is suicide run. So I'm going to suicide into these guys. And if I happen to make it, so much the better. Stop, traitors. Oh, you're going to call me a traitor and tell me to drop my weapons. Oh yeah, that's right. I attacked the guards and killed that one set of guards. That's great. Let's see what happens. Well, we're going to go ahead and fight this guy, but I've already done it once, and I failed because I'm stupid, and I didn't heal. I didn't recharge. I may just cut that last fight out entirely, or speed through it or something. I don't know. I don't know. We'll find out. We'll find out in post, I guess. So last time... I blocked all the arrows, so this is already a bit a worse start. Only two damage though, that guy has a lot of defense. And Gollin Gollin's just terrible. Just just the worst. I think it might be prudent to try and take out the archers with her. You know, I'm gonna have her attack the first archer. Have her try and take that one guy down by herself. In the meantime, try and get these powerful strikes off. And knock this guy down as fast as possible as well. Considering all of my characters can hit him. Which may make it make more sense to just stone arrow him instead. I don't know. But what I do know is that I want this chick. She heals and healing is good. I gotta go for the hit. That stun helps. Ridiculous. That's another thing. If I had a lot of stunners... I'd get 100% hit opportunities all the time, and that is fantastic. Gollin, you're a terrible blocker. Shoot, what do I do? I guess I keep with the original plan. Hit that guy. But if I hit this guy, if I would have just hit this guy, he'd be almost dead already. Not screw it, I'm switching. Switching tactics mid-combat, terrible idea, but... It'll work better, I think, in the end. 77% for 6 to 8. I gotta go with the powerful strike again. Thank you for hitting. That is amazing. Just enough. And he's dead. Which is normal. He dies right away all the time. But now, we can actually take this bastard down. At a reasonable speed. I think I'm actually gonna... S no. You can go ahead and summon Raznet right away. And if you don't die from this archer... Or somebody. Excellent. Great target. I'm going to heal you with this dude. Light heal on Dingon. Because if he dies, all the summons go away. And I can't have that. They're very important. Thank you for the block. You are fantastic. Let's drop a stone arrow here. And you should die now. Excellent. This is going swimmingly. Considerably better than not having any health. Or mana. Not being able to do powerful strikes. <laughs> Not being able to cast spells. And Guskala actually hasn't been targeted too hard this time either. Which is very good. Ding on, what do you do? I guess you do nothing. Block. Stay alive. That's your goal. 
Critical fail. Awesome. Muscala. Another stone arrow, please. Thank you. Another 16 damage. And you? What do you do? You actually don't really need to heal anybody, but you're going to because that's your role in life. What do we got? And she's still alive. Awesome. Awesome. I don't think I'm going to use my next stone arrow on him. Oh, he might have died right there. No? Block it. Ah, come on, Nantharos. I know you're not good, but come on. Yeah, he only has 8 health. I'm not wasting a stone arrow on him. Start doing damage to the guy in the back. My entire front line gets to go. Somebody better take him down. You gotta be gone. Thank you. This is excellent. This is so excellent. What do I do? I don't think I do anything with him. Just, just block. Stay alive. Stay alive. Finally, you guys are shooting at the right person. It's too late now. Because you're going to get another stone arrow real soon. In fact, it's coming up now. And it might be enough to kill you. Probably not. Oh, it did! Excellent. That was a great fight. So remember, don't forget to rest. Anyway, that's it for episode 8 of Zulima. So we'll probably go down this route to see what's over there. I, well, what does it say here? To Nabros. I don't know. We'll check it out. Anyway, thanks for watching. And if you like it, leave a like. If you want to hear more, subscribe. Thank you much. Ta.